So here I am in the back of the Land Rover, obviously, uh, trying to catch up on a whole bunch of days worth of vlogs because I haven't really been doing them. I've been filming a little bit, but haven't really been narrating or talking to the camera at all. Uh, so we're going to catch up on what I've been up to. So I went for a bit of a hike to a place called Dievel Porten which uh, is some rock that kind of sticks between two other pieces of rock. It's super exciting. It's kind of similar to a place near Stavanger called Shadag Bolton. Um, this one is a bit of a smaller piece of rock, uh, but it's still cool. People try and climb out onto it and sit and take some kind of goofy pictures. And then you can continue to walk along the ridge uh, back towards Svolvar to the second peak, which is called Floya. And this overlooks the, the town of Svolva and also Svolva Geta as well. After smashing it back down the mountain, there's nothing better than a dip in the, in the icy Arctic sea waters to, uh, to cool you down. It's cold. So my friend Jack uh, needed me to collect his kayak. Uh, so this meant I ended up driving back pretty much all the way to the other end of the uh, Lofoten to Reina. Um, which is a very cute little town uh, right at the end. Probably the prettiest town, I think, on the islands. Um, and this is a super sweet little place that I like a lot. The next day. So the last couple of days, all it's done is rain. It's rained and rained and rained and rained and it's rained and it's finally stopped raining. It's, there's not a clock in there. It's eight o'clock-ish, like 8.30 on Friday. And it's finally stopped raining, which is nice. So I can take this off and uh, I'm gonna go get something to eat um, because I haven't really done much the last couple of days, barely moved. The weather's just been so grey and dark and horrible and I just don't really want to do anything. Don't want to be outside because it's just pouring with rain. Um, so it's nice that the sun has finally come out. It's so different here though when the sun is out, when the sun is knotted out, like the, the light and how everything changes and the, the influence the kind of clouds have as they um, change their height in comparison to the mountains. Um, makes such a difference to the atmosphere here. It is very moody, however, when it's very rainy and, and dark. It's quite um, atmospherical as you're kind of driving around. But I'm definitely glad that the sun's come back out now. Also, as I was driving along the side of the road uh, earlier, I um, saw all these like, birds kind of circling a little bit out to the sea. And then underneath the bird circling, there was like a whale fin that came up. Um, and there's a bunch of orcas that were just a little bit off the off the coast. Apparently, the orcas are after like a certain type of fish that the um, that the birds see as well, which is why the birds are kind of circling, and that the orcas really like playing in the rough water. Apparently, uh, and it was literally ten meters from the roadside, and we saw six or seven orcas all kind of playing in the water, which is which was pretty which was pretty incredible, really, to see that from just driving along.
So this is a, a bridge just outside of Reina, uh, and it's a well-known photo spot for obvious reasons. It's so pretty here. Like, can you imagine living on one of these like little houses? I think these are actually cabins you can rent. Uh, and I've said it a bunch of times, but it's like 11 p.m. at the moment, and it's been stormy all day. Uh, so it's still kind of a little bit gray and cloudy and stuff. Um, but this is just such a nicer time to be out walking around. The roads are totally quiet and there's nobody here and it's just so much nicer. to go meet a, a friend of mine, a guy I met about a week ago or so, uh, who's got his hands on a new 2020 Defender and has asked if I want to have a bit of a look around a bit. Um, around a bit? Have a bit of a look around it. Uh, so I've made it a bit of a drive to where he is and uh, I'm about 20 minutes away. So pretty excited to see what it's like, particularly jumping out of uh, an original 2006 Defender uh, and into this highly anticipated 2020 Defender. Um, so we'll see. This is cool. This is a two liter diesel, so it's kind of nice. What do you think of the 110 vinyl on the front? I, I kind of, you see, if you look at it on drone photos, it looks kind of nice. Um, grass over here, for example. That's real nice. I'm kind of insecure about my parking and I'm like, oh well, maybe my animals are kind of bad here. Oh no. How does I mean, that oh, work? Oh, front, though. Oh, whoa. How does that work? Oh, oh. Fucking hell. <laughs> Which crap. And then, oh, well, what's behind oh, me then? It's in the back oh, angle. Oh, I don't know. But if I want. Yeah. The brake lights work and everything. Yeah, and <laughs> if I. <laughs> oh, it opens the door. <laughs> <laughs> but, but if you were driving like over some rocks and you can see like where they are compared to like on top of the car. Mm. Like and how close they are and stuff. And here you can see directly on the wheels. So if you're like have a rock here. It's super close to the alloy or the side of the tire. You can kind of see where you're going. That's pretty nice. I would be amazed if it did a problem. That would be really... Stupid. Oh, you can deploy, deploy it from sat here. Oh, that's 